Egypt Van Andalus Padong Panjang is one of the cities with the smallest area in the province of West Sumatra, Indonesia. This city has the nickname as the Veranda City of Mecca, and is also known as Egypt Van Andalus. While the administrative area of this city is surrounded by the administrative area of Tanadatar Regency, Padong Panjang City has two sub-districts, namely West Padong Panjang District and East Padong Panjang District and six sub-districts. Its area reaches 23.00 square kilometers. A crossroads city with a connection to the Sumatran route is Padong Panjang. Putting this town in a strategic place. Regional routes connecting this city to Tanadator District, Solok Regency and Solok City, as well as the cities of Padong and Bukitagai, run via it. This city has had a railroad line since the time of the Dutch colonial government. Nam Luz Vinuat Chap Nederlands Indisk Spoorweg Mots Chapage, NV. NISM, started this railroad in 1891. A coal train used to stop here on its way to Teluk Bayur Harbour from the Ombilan coal mine in Sawalanto. After that, PT Kirta API Indonesia, which had previously changed its names, took over this station's operation upon Indonesian independence. However, this station was shut down when Sawalanto's coal mines collapsed at the start of the millennium. To transform this station into a historical tourism destination in 2017, the local government undertook renovations. If you're traveling from Padong to Padong Panjang, you'll take the Sila Ing route, which has an uphill and meandering route that is typical of mountainous locations. This route travels through the Anna Valley, where the crystal clear Baitang Anna River flows. Mount Sing Galang is where the Baitang Anna River originates. A waterfall created by the water flow from Mount Sing Galang runs beneath the bridge and into the Baitang Anna River. This waterfall, which is about 35 meters high and is situated close by the road, is beautiful, so you can stop for a bit to take it in. One of the West Sumatra tourism attractions is the waterfall in the Anna Valley. The city of Padong Panjang was a commercial center in antiquity. Traders from Asa came here and they spread Islam throughout the Minang realm. The city of Padong Panjang, which is still expanding, is the appropriate environment for anyone who wish to learn more about Islam. There are numerous Islamic boarding schools located all across the city of Padong Panjang. The city of Padong Panjang was formally recognized as the Veranda of Mecca on March 21, 1999. As a result, Padong Panjang has developed into a popular religious travel destination for the general community. One of the places for religious tourism in Padong Panjang is the Islamic Center Building, which was opened in 2018. This mosque is located in the Islamic Center and includes a marble-floored prayer hall that can accommodate 4,000 people. There are rows of hills covered with green trees on the mosque's east and south sides. While a stretch of rice fields with stunning view of Mount Sing Galang in the north may be found on the mosque's north and west sides. A monument to the Quran is located just in front of the mosque. Additionally, couples frequently do marriage ceremonies at this mosque. You can go to the Lubuk Mata Cucking Swimming Pool if you enjoy aquatic tourism. Built in 1918 during the Dutch colonial era, it has a natural aesthetic. The pool's water is not cleaned and is drawn from a nearby spring. The pond's bottom is covered in moss, giving the water a muddy appearance. This is what makes a swimming pool special. There is another modern amusement park. The Minang Fantasy, Mifan, Water Park was opened in 2008 by the Padong Panjang City Government. A complex of vacation spots that combines gaming with aquatic tourism. It has two game areas, namely Water Park Arena and Dry Park. Dry Park is including Ferris Wheel, Boom Boom Car, UFO, Jump Around, Mini Coaster, Comedy Play, Flying Fox, Cinema 4D, and Bumper Boat. 
Meanwhile for the waterpark arena there are various facilities such as a 12 meters high slide tower with a length of more than 104 meters, a 250 meters long flowing pool or artificial river which is named the Baitang Anna River. There is a wave pool slash legend beach, covering an area of 1,800 square meters. Kitty's Pool, a special pool for toddlers with a depth of 40 centimeters and equipped with play facilities for children, such as slides and fountains in the shape of mushrooms and clowns. There is also a spilled bucket pool, for children's play equipped with a slide, a small fountain with water that can suddenly spill from the giant bucket on the slide. Furthermore, there is also the semi-Olympic pool, which is referred to as the Niagara pool. Accommodations are another source of support for Mifan Padong Panjang. Given that the hotel is situated between three sizable mountains, namely Mount Merapi, Mount Sing Galang, and Mount Tandikak, you may also experience the beautiful, pleasant, and natural Minangkabau atmosphere. In Mifan Padong Panjang, Rimage Ding is another lodging choice. There is a museum next to Minang Fantasy that features extensive exhibits on Minangkabau culture. The Minangkabau Culture Documentation and Information Center is the name of this museum, Pusat Dokumentasi Informasi Kabudayan Minangkabau. You can see here a variety of information and collections on Minangkabau culture in the form of audio and video documentation. For visitors that want to taste Minang's dish, there is a unique satay restaurant named Sate Maxi Ukar, which serves as a gathering place for Padong Panjang inhabitants who love satay. Take the time to visit the Minang Ko gift shop if you want to purchase souvenirs. While on vacation in Padong Panjang, there are a variety of souvenirs that may be collected. <laughs>